Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to be doing um, a product review on my mini noodle cooker and skillet. Um, I've used it quite a bit since I got it for my birthday last month um, from my son. <clears throat> it's a 5 inch skillet and it's uh, 260 watts and it's non-stick. Um, you can use it for a rice cooker, steamer, skillet, and griddle all in one. Okay, so, you know, I live alone, so I don't make, you know, cook a lot of uh, food and stuff like that. So this is perfect for me. Now, I'll tell you, uh, I'm going to be making, I'm going to be cooking some stuff in here. Um, but I'm not going to cook it all at once today. So the video might be a little bit wonky because as I make something different in it, uh, I'm going to make a little clip of it and add it to the video because if I made all that food that I've made in here uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to uh, eat it all all right so today what I'm going to be cooking is um, a piece of chicken so I'm just going to plug this in I'm going to take the lid off see you have your little pan there non-stick just use plastic utensils and this is the little griddle area which I didn't use I made fried eggs in this but I didn't use the griddle I just I just put it in this instead so anyway you just plug it in okay let's plug that in and get it warmed up a little bit okay so I have a I have a bunch of uh, a bunch of these little things I have the uh, egg maker, the sandwich maker, uh, the uh, the griddle. I had to look over there, all my collection. Anyway, you can find this at Walmart. I'm pretty sure it wasn't that expensive because I think I actually looked at it online myself and thought about buying it. Um, and then for my birthday, I didn't even know, and my son surprised me with it. So, yeah, I haven't made the oodles and noodles um, in it. Like everybody else does. I have done rice in it though. I did do rice. Uh, I might do rice in it. I don't know yet. I have to be in the mood for rice. Anyway, I'm letting that heat up a little bit. And I want to show you. Um, this is the chicken that I'm using. The chicken breast tenderloins. Uh, great value brand. I'm going to be doing a little piece of chicken because I'm going to be adding that to some pasta later and I'm just going to put a little bit of salt on this piece of chicken a little bit of pepper like that and I'm just going to be using just a, a little bit of oil in here all right, just like that. Last one I made, I made it once. It came out so tender. So I'm just going to put this in here. Like this. See? Nice little piece fits perfectly. And I'm just going to put the lid on and I'm going to, I'm going to time this. See how long it takes. I actually didn't. And we will be back. Okay, so we're back with the chicken. You can hear it sizzling. All right, I'm just gonna flip it over. It's not. I don't. I don't. I don't think my last one got brown. I don't care either way. But it did come out nice and tender. So I got that flipped over. I'm gonna put the lid back on. So anyway, um, like I said, I've made scrambled eggs in it. I made. I've made this is the second time I've done chicken. I've done chicken nuggets in it. I believe I put four chicken nuggets in there easily, a piece of uh, frozen breaded fish, and uh, a piece of liver, um, not, the, not the fresh liver, they have those uh, livers that come vacuum packed individually, so I did, a, oh my god, I've never tasted liver so tender, 
if, if you love liver and you're worried about it coming out tough, you pop it in there and you're good to go. So, tomorrow, like I said, I'll probably do one for the scrambled eggs, show you how I do my scrambled eggs in it. Get a different plate. I'm trying to think of anything else that I can tell you about it. Um, it does have a pretty decent cord on it. So, I'm loving it. I'm actually, I, I'm actually loving it. But then again, I love all those mini ones. I wanted to do uh, a video soon. I know I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. Um, but I did want to do a video of uh, some stuff that I make in my sandwich maker other than um, sandwiches so you know when you live alone you don't I mean I'm not gonna get a frying pan out and everything just to to cook a little piece of chicken like that and then you can just hear it sizzling along so far it's been about five minutes so five minutes Um, I don't know what else I can talk about while we're waiting because it's almost done. If you have one and you've cooked uh, different things in it, things that I haven't mentioned, uh, you know, leave it in the comments below because I'm always interested in trying something new. I mean, I could make pancakes in this as well, but that's basically why I bought my little uh, nostalgia um my mini, my nostalgia, I can't talk today, people. My uh, nostalgia uh, mini griddle, I basically bought that for um, pancakes because I hate making pancakes in the frying pan for myself and then while I'm eating one or two, then they end up being cold. So generally what I do is, you know, I'm eating one and making one. So, because it doesn't take that long. And the house doesn't get filled up with smoke and everything else. And I'm pretty sure this is almost done. I'm going to check it. I'm just going to put this in some leftover uh, Alfredo noodles that I made last night. I'm just going to cut it up and add it to it. So let's see where we are with this. I'm going to give it a little cut and see where I am with it. It's not brown, but I don't need it to be brown. One of these days, I will bread something and try it other than frozen fish. So, all right, here we go, guys. Look at that. You see that under this light? That was like about, uh, I would say, six, seven minutes. And it's all cooked. Perfect. Yeah, this does get a little hot. Okay, see, no stick or anything. So now I'm just going to unplug it like that. All right, so that is, uh, that's the first little one I'm going to do. And uh, like I said, I'll be adding, I'll be adding all these different things that I cook to one video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up, and everybody have a great day. Bye. Okay, so now I'm going to make my scrambled eggs the way I make them. I mean, you can do them any way you want. I'm just letting um, the base heat up. I put a little margarine in here because I like the flavor of the margarine with uh, my eggs. And over here... I have my eggs. I have two eggs uh, with a little bit of a smidge of uh, half and half, some pepper, and some chives. When I'm done, I'll, uh, I'll put some salt on them. So here I'm just melting my margarine. See how it melts really quick? All right. Very quickly melts. 
All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour my egg mixture in. Now, you can make your eggs any way you want, you know, how you like your scrambled egg. I like soft scrambled eggs. And then what we do is we're just going to put the top on this and uh, just let it start cooking. So I was thinking later this afternoon, I think I'm going to do a video of um, my uh, cornbread that I make in my sandwich maker. And I'll show you how I do that. And we're just going to let that start heating up in there a little bit before we start stirring it. As I mentioned earlier, I really, really love this My Mini. And if you're like me, you're a little bit lazy sometimes. Um, even if I could do, even if I put it on a paper plate, I still feel like I'm wasting a paper plate for nothing. Um, I gotta admit, I actually do eat it out of there. I mean, why not? I'm the only person eating it, right? See how it's all getting steamed up in there? And then we're going to take the lid off in a moment. And we're going to start stirring it. They actually cook up pretty quick once you get started. See that? I hope you can see that. And you just start. I mean, if you wanted an omelet like this, I mean, you could do it in this part. I like using this part. Or basically the base because the base is like the little uh, griddle part, the little frying pan part. But I, I don't really choose to use that because I feel like, you know, if I'm stirring my eggs or whatever I'm making on the griddle part, and then it splashes over the side and makes a mess. I mean, I don't know if it, it probably cooked a little bit faster that way, but I just, I just like doing it like this. See, you can just keep stirring it. It's starting to firm up right now. I got that nice... Butter flavor, margarine, whatever you're using in there. Honestly, I had to switch um, from margarine or from butter to margarine because, God, it's so expensive in the store. Even for one person, it's expensive. I mean, I guess it's okay if you don't use a lot of uh, butter on your foods or whatnot. See, yeah, it's coming together really quickly, see? There. Remember, this does get a tinge hot, so you got to be careful with it. There we go, see? Cook them right up there. Like I said, I like mine soft. You can make yours any way you want it. Some people don't even put, you know, milk or half and half in their... In their eggs but I do all right so now can you hear that sizzle all right guess what my eggs are done guys and there you go two scrambled eggs let me see if the light will help two scrambled eggs so there you have it now we can eat and what did it take approximately um, three to four minutes, maybe. All right, that's that one for now. Like I said, I'll be back with, uh, um, something else to cook. So, see you in a little while. Okay, so now I'm going to do a piece of fish. I'm warming this up right now. Got my fish right here. And give it a little pepper. 
real soft. Now this was a frozen piece of cod. And I took it out of the freezer and unthawed it. Um, that's the one thing that uh, I always do is I unthaw a piece of meat that I'm doing. Even if it is something like uh, chicken nuggets or frozen breaded fish like this. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of oil in there. And then I'm just going to take the fish, and I'm going to put it in here. See that? Now, at first it didn't look like it was going to fit because it was frozen. Um, but it did, so we're just going to pop that in there, like that. We're going to put that lid on there. So this is the fish that I put in there, the Gorton's Codfish Breaded Fish Fillets. I'm just going to let that cook a little bit before we turn it over. Or you can also put these kind in. well these smaller ones you used to see in those they're just the regular um, beer battered 100% whole fillets as well as I did mention I did um, chicken nuggets in it I'm gonna pause this until it gets cooking and then we're gonna flip it over in a minute Okay, so we're back. We're going to check it. Remember, always use plastic utensils. Uh, I'm going to get into there, and I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to put the lid back on for a little bit. And I'm going to pause you guys, and we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we're going to give it one more little flip, I think. See how that looks? Yeah, it's almost done. Sorry guys, I accidentally blew a circuit breaker on something else in the house, but... Okay, we'll just finish this up uh, on this one side and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and it's done. So, I have my cornbread. That I made earlier and I showed you how I did that in the uh, sandwich maker so watch that video and I have some chili sauce for my codfish looks nice can you hear that sit can you hear when it uh, sizzles in there and this is going to be totally moist on the inside all right so now we have our fish let me on we have our fish right here and if you notice in the pan hold on that's hot in the pan the breading stayed intact uh, sometimes you fry it or whatever in the frying pan or bake it and it sticks not in this and I like I said I only used a little oil and I have my rice on the side to go with this. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Everybody have a good day. Leave a comment. Thumbs up. Bye.